In this video, we'll be creating a new listing for eBay. If you're not importing from a store connection, but want to create new listings for eBay, InkFrog offers a quick, single-page listing form. To begin, select eBay, and then create new listing. If you're using Master Profiles, select to pre-fill from your Master Profile. Master Profiles contain saved default listing information to help create new eBay listings faster. If you have multiple eBay usernames linked to your InkFrog account, select the eBay username. Select the eBay market. The Tell Us About Your Product field is used for adding eBay catalog product details to your listing. In this example, I've entered Apple iPhone XR and then click the search button. The results are displayed below. First, notice that there are a few eBay category suggestions based on our keywords. The category may be selected here or browse for a different category later in the listing process. Next is suggested products. These are the results we receive from the keywords that match eBay's catalog of products. If there's a result that closely resembles the product, use this item or simply close this window to continue on with the listing creation without making a catalog selection. If Use This Item is selected, the title field and category selection in the listing page will be automatically filled in, and you will also have the option of including eBay's catalog details and stock photo with your listing. If this information is not pre-filled from the catalog selection, then enter a title and item description. Enter the product identifier, if applicable, UPC, MPN, EAN, ISBN, or GTIN. Select the Save folder or create a new eBay folder by selecting the plus button if needed. Upload new images or select from your previously uploaded images. Images may be added even if you've chosen to use the eBay's catalog image. If you've created listing profiles, you're able to choose to link the profile to your listing or manually fill out the necessary details. Listing profiles are used to save listing details so that they may be added quickly to create new listings or used to bulk edit existing listings. If you're not using a listing profile, continue with Select Your Primary eBay Category. You're able to select a secondary eBay category, but please note that a second category is not required by eBay, and if you choose to include a second eBay category, eBay will charge you additional listing fees. Select your listing type, auction, fixed price, or multivariation fixed price. Select your listing duration. All fixed price listings are automatically GTC, which is good till canceled. Giving Works Charity ID is optional. Enter or locate your charity ID and enter the percentage you're willing to donate to charity. Make your international site visibility selections if applicable. eBay will charge a fee to display this listing for sale on the selected eBay sites in addition to the default eBay site. Lot size. Leave this field empty if you're not selling your items in lots or if you're uncertain. There's a quantity field further down the page. Select your item condition. This is not required on all eBay categories. Enter your condition description, and this will only appear in your listings if a condition other than new is selected. Add any required item specifics. A red star on the listing page indicates if a field is required. Add any optional item specifics. Select the country. Enter the postal code and location for where the items ship from. Next, if you've already set up one or more templates, you may choose the template to assign to this listing. If you would like to create a new template, select the Create New Template button. If you would rather not use a template at all, skip this section and continue. Make any best offer selections. Enter your price. 
enter the quantity, add a sale price if applicable, add your SKU. If this is left blank, Inkfrog will assign a randomly generated SKU to the listing. If your product contains no variations, skip this section and continue. To create variations of your product so that customers on eBay may select from various sizes or colors, select the Add Variations button. Enter your base price, base quantity, and base SKU. Select from pre-formatted option names or create your own. Enter your option values for each option name selected. Select Specify Pricing and Inventory. You may also choose to assign images to your variations. Select the variant name to assign images to and then upload new images or select from previously uploaded images. If you're using return profiles, you're able to choose to link the profile. Otherwise, please continue with the below settings. Select whether or not to accept returns. Set the number of days an item must be returned within. Select how the refund will be provided to your customer. Select who will pay for return shipping. If you're using shipping profiles, you're able to choose to link the profile. Otherwise, please continue with the below settings. Select your shipping type. These options vary by eBay market selected. If you're opted into eBay's global shipping program, make that selection. Select your handling time. This only includes the time from when you're paid until you have the package in the hands of your shipping carrier and does not include the actual shipping time to reach your customer. Select any include exclude shipping locations. Choose one or more domestic shipping services. Optionally choose one or more international shipping services. Enter your package dimensions. Add the package weight and choose the package type. These are important and often are required details when using calculated shipping. If you're using payment profiles, you're able to choose to link the profile. Otherwise, please continue with the below settings. Add your PayPal email address. Select more options to choose from additional payment choices. Set your sales tax. Add any additional payment instructions for your customers. And then make any necessary buyer requirement selections. Select the Save button and choose Save to Library or save to library and launch or schedule your listing for eBay. And as usual, if you run into any questions at all while trying to use features within your Inkfrog account, please reach out to our customer care team by selecting the arrow near your name and then get help.